Hello everybody, it is Jacob from Funzy Year One. Um, I am just going to do a quick video of the Amazon Fire Phone that I got on clearance uh, or whatever from Amazon on Black Friday or Cyber Monday or somewhere in there. Um, I was not going to buy it, but I saw it for $200 off from like $600, so I thought I'll just get it and try it and then sell it. So, um, this is the Fire Phone. And yeah, if you are concerned about cameras on phones, uh, this is not the phone for you, as you can see. Camera, 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 and camera. So yes, there are a lot of cameras on this phone, and I'll show you in a minute what that's for. Uh, so truly, I haven't played around with this too much, but I just thought I'd do a, a little video for you guys anyway. Um, so I am no expert with this phone. In fact, it truly confuses me. And uh, usually I'm pretty good with phones, if I might say so myself, but I am utterly confused by this phone. So um, probably why it wasn't very successful, but again, Amazon, it's a nice uh, glossy back like the Nexus 4 I used to have, except my Nexus had a nice pattern in there. Um, so again, on the back, camera, flash, and on the front, camera, 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 camera and a button that is kind of like a home button, I think, um, a screen, and of course the earpiece on top, you know, power lock, uh, there's a speaker, I think, speaker on the bottom, um, let's see, or maybe that's a microphone on top, that's probably the second microphone, or maybe that's it on the back, I'm not really sure, but, and then there's the SIM card slot, the volume, and the camera button, is right under the volume, which is interesting. And over here, nothing. And on the bottom, I already showed you the bottom. So let's turn it on. Um, so here we go. Here it's on. And first thing you'll notice is it kind of is moving around. Well, that is thanks to the cameras. It is looking at you, and, or me, I guess. Okay, now it's not working. Does it see me? There we go. And you can see it can kind of peer into the woods over there. And that changes, and it looks kind of 3D-ish, and that's just the wallpaper. Um, and uh, as far as I know, that is that is what the cameras do. I mean, they just add that. Um, you can't actually take pictures with those. So, like, for example, even here you can see how the globe thing kind of rotates. Um, it just kind of gives a, like, a weird feel to this phone, like it, it's looking at you, which it is. <laughs> Um, so, um, one example actually of this is in Maps, where, um, I'm not going to pull it up right now, but, because honestly that's a lot of effort, because I don't really know how to use this, um, but Maps, uh, if there's a list of places, like, you know, you search for something and there's all the little dots, um, pointing to where they are, if you tilt the phone, then it, like, shows the names on the dots of what the place is. So, I don't know. I mean, it's interesting stuff, but I don't think it's really necessary, and I'm guessing it kills the battery. I don't really know, because I didn't really use the phone much, but this is the home screen. So, and then pressing that gets you menu, and then back to the home. So, this is the Silk browser, which um, is apparently what Amazon wants you to use. Then there's texting. And settings, I'm guessing these are just like, kind of, there's a lot of Amazon stuff on here. Um, I'm guessing these are like recent apps or something. Or something customizable. But regardless, um, I mean, kind of easy to use, yeah, there. But the rest of this is just confusing. Um, down here you have phone, messages, email, and Silk browser. Um... So yeah, that's that. Let's see if you can do landscape. No, you cannot. So then again, you press it, you get to the menu. Uh, you cannot use Google Play Store on here or anything like that. So um, that is why you can't get Android Wear. Uh, yes, I looked it up. Yes, I tried to download it from other places. No, it does not work on the Amazon Fire Phone unless I root it. So um, again, you're pretty limited to what Amazon wants you to have. So I get the speed test app. That's the one app I downloaded. And I wasn't going to do this, but you know what? I like speed tests. So let's see. Nope, I am not near Illinois anymore. All right. I put my AT&T SIM card in here for the uh, testing purposes, I guess. And I am in the middle of nowhere, so this is what LTE brings at my house which I'm not complaining about if you've watched any of my old videos where 
our internet was um, subpar with Sprint. All right, well, anyway, I think we got the idea. So uh, basically that showed us that the phone works. Uh, <laughs> and so anyway, these are the apps and games and things it has preloaded. A couple games, um, a lot of Amazon stuff. So let's go back. Wow, see, so it shows for speed test, it shows like recent results. Ah, it went up, 3.68. So that's interesting. I mean, it shows like, re so this must be like recent apps on the home screen. And again, even doing that, you know, turns that. So they've really got this all customized, which is cool, but I don't think it's like needed on a phone. And um, it's interesting. So, I mean, it, it really, it shows everything here. Um, like the recent results in your recent apps and whatnot. So anyway, then let's go into a little messaging. We will compose a message to myself. No, we won't because that will show you my number. I feel like it's going to do that anyway. So we won't compose an actual message. But here's the keyboard. I'm sure you can download more keyboards, but don't quote me on that. So here's, uh, that's really cool. Um, yes, you can use swipe or just type. You are really awesome. Thank you for watching. Thanks again. And it must be some Amazon voice recognition or else just different animations on Google's. Also, if you hold this, hello. I don't know if it'll search or what, but. Here I am. Swipe or tilt left to learn what I can do for you tilt left. Yo, I'm tilting. Okay. There we go. Use voices for. Okay, so again, tilting. Usually, there, yeah, usually it'll bring up side menus like that. So if you tilt it, okay, when it can see my face. Okay, well, usually it brings up a menu. Um, again, it's just kind of finicky and not super useful but um so that's a very robotic voice thanks amazon um let's check out the browser of course it defaults to amazon and this phone has been fast so I'll give it that um let's go to phone dog dot com and transitions are real quick that's nice let's let phone dog load up Mm -hmm. And again, see that kind of came from tilting. I don't know if I can get rid of it or not. Again, I don't know. I don't know uh, how this is supposed to be super useful, but here's pinch to zoom. Okay, it's not really focused on the camera. Um, really fast. So again, the phone is fast. It's just very confusing. So now home screen gets you back to that, and that's our most recent app. So anyway, that is a very quick look at the Amazon Fire Phone. Um, if you want to see more, I guess you could buy one. <laughs> I don't know. Or go to the store if they still sell them. But, again, they're really interesting phones. So here's the camera really quick, I guess. Um, I'm not going to show you much. But um, front camera is just going to use that one center camera. Hello, everyone. Um, let's turn that around. And get out of that. And I wonder if the home, yep, it shows recent pictures. Pictures, look at that. How did I predict it? So anyway, that is the Amazon Fire Phone for you. Um, you know, look at the camera when it tilts. It's pretty cool. Again, cool but not useful. And here then, this came up. I didn't know this existed. So, web. Oops, more music. So then if I bring that out, there's, uh, there's a lot of these side swipe um, things. So that's interesting. I don't know if you can do that everywhere or what, but again, this phone would take some figuring out to do. So if you want something new, you're bored of everything else, and you want to play around with something, definitely get this because it's uh, it'll give you something to do. So let's uh, this will take us to Amazon Music, of course, and. All right. Well, anyway. Um, this is the Amazon Fire Phone again. Thanks again for watching, and um, please subscribe and like this video. It helps a lot. Um, also, let's turn that thing off. 
Uh, what else? Uh, Facebook.com slash fun01 for news. If I sell this phone on eBay, I will be sure to post the link on there for you guys if anyone's interested. Um, again, I just took it out of the box, used it pretty much for this, and sat down on the couch with it for like 15 minutes the other day, and that's about all that's happened with this phone. So, brand new, basically. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, so please subscribe, all that, like the, like the video, like the channel. Uh, it really does help. And also, fun01 on Twitter. Um, I don't post a whole lot of stuff, but you can always um, contact me on there, and I usually, if it shows up on my phone, I will answer you. Um, if not... I'll see it when I'm in my office and happen to look and see that people direct messaged me or um, tweeted at me, and then I will answer. So, yes, I will answer you if you tweet me. <laughs> All right. Thanks again for watching. Bye.